Calculating the size of an economy is very complicated and a tricky process. There are three main methods established so far in calculating the GDP of a country. In this video, let us try to understand these methods. The expenditure method looks at how people and businesses spend their money. It adds up everything spent in the country. It includes what people buy, what businesses invest in, what the government spends and what's bought and sold with other countries. This approach is based on the principle that all the money spent in an economy must be used to buy goods and services. The logic is that if people and organizations are buying things, it means those things are being produced and sold. The formula for this approach is GDP is equal to consumption which includes all the spendings by households on goods and services plus investment which covers spending by businesses on capital goods plus government spending which accounts for all the government expenditures plus exports minus imports. In production approach or value added method we look at how much value is added to goods and services at each step of making them. The approach focuses on production process and how value is created at each stage, focusing on the value added by each firm or industry in the production process. The formula for this method is GDP is equal to value of output which represents total value of goods and services minus value of intermediate consumption which includes cost of goods and services used up in the production process. So we are essentially trying to calculate the margin the country is making that represents the value of all the economic activities. Income Approach This approach is based on idea that the total income earned in an economy should equal the total value of goods and services produced. The logic here is that all the income generated must go somewhere, either to workers as wages and salaries, to business owners as profits, or to government as taxes. By adding up all these income sources, you get an estimate of the overall economic activity. The formula for this method is GDP is equal to compensation of employees plus gross operating surplus, which represents the profits earned by businesses. Uh, plus gross mixed income, which is the income of unincorporated businesses and self-employed individuals, plus taxes on production and imports minus subsidies. Summing up all these components provides GDP using the income approach. So instead of focusing on what's made or sold, it looks at how much money people and businesses are making from those things. Each of these methods provide a different perspective on the economy but in the end theoretically should yield the same GDP figure when properly calculated. If to continue watching further videos on GDP or other similar topics, subscribe to our YouTube channel.